So you understand that obsession destroys manifestation. It is contrary to the law of attraction. So how do you stop obsessing over a specific person over somebody that you have a deep love interest in find out. Hi everyone, Robert Zenk, miracle mentor and alchemy success coach. And I have a special reminder for you. October 20th is the full moon. And on October 20th, Rachel and I will be hosting an intensive 90 minutes to two hours of intense conversation, discussion, and manifestation when it comes to love, manifesting love beyond belief. Be sure and join us. Visit the website now to find out more information, manifesting love beyond belief. Hey, we are soaring high like a big, beautiful eagle. And we are always flying in the direction of your dreams and your goals. High flyers obsession is counter to manifestation of what you desire. And it is counter to the law of attraction. So high flyers, some people believe that if I'm not obsessed, it isn't showing the universe that I really want this person in my life, but obsession only attracts one thing. And that one thing is obsession. You attract more because that's what you are. You attract more obsession and obsession leads to more obsession and so on and so forth. You get what I'm talking about? High flyers. This is critical to manifesting a specific person or somebody that you desire in your life. Obsession is a mental loop that says, I want, I hurt, I need, I must have obsession. When it is focused at a specific person is a statement to that individual vibrationally that says you are not giving me what I want. You're not giving me attention. You're not calling me. You're not whining and dining me. You're not showing me love. You're not treating me special. And this could be an ex. This could be somebody you're trying to get back with, or it could be somebody that you're dating, or it could even be someone that you just have an interest in. So as I said earlier, but I want to emphasize this people that become obsessed over a specific person, they feel that if they give up the obsession, if they give up thinking about this person 24 hours a day, it really means that they don't like them anymore. They're not interested in them. And, uh, it kind of gives the universe permission to help them move on, but that isn't always the case. Mental obsession over another person is a habit. It's a bad habit and habits can be changed. Habits can be modified. Giving up on obsession is not giving up on love. Giving up on obsession is choosing you. It says, I choose me. Giving up on obsession says to the universe, I am worthy of love. Giving up obsession says to the universe, I am free of obsession and want and need. I live in a perfect space of allowing. So high flyers, what can we do to turn down the dial on obsession? Number one, change your daily routine. If you're used to getting up at six, get up at five 45 and use that extra time for you do something for you. Change the way you drive to work. If you drive past a specific location that awakens old memories, 
Don't drive that way anymore. Ask yourself, how can I shake up or change my daily routine so that I'm focusing more on myself and my own responsibility to create my own fulfillment and happiness rather than allowing for space where I have nothing else to do, but think about someone else. High flyers next. This is essential. Bathe yourself in gratitude. You cannot be thinking negative thoughts when you are feeling grateful, when you are focused on all the wonderful things in your life, all the wonderful people in your life, all the experiences you have had are having and will have. It's impossible to be obsessed because you're focusing on wonderful connections with individuals, situations, places, experiences. Oftentimes I will just get up. I'll get up from my desk if I'm feeling stuck and I'll walk around the house and I will just pick up any object. I have some Pellegrino here. I'm grateful that I have fresh water to drink. Other people in the world don't, but I do. And I'm very grateful for that. I'm humbled by that. You see, I can take one little can and I just, I just picked this up right now. I can take one little can of, of Pellegrino or water and I can turn it into a moment of gratitude. You can walk around your house and just walking around your house, you can find over a thousand things to be grateful for. So don't tell me you have nothing to be grateful for. When you allow this energy of gratitude to fill up your life, it's impossible to feel depressed or obsessed or in a state of need or want rather you feel in a state of gratefulness and that attracts more good things to be grateful for. So high flyers. The next is create your bucket list and it doesn't have to be big things. It doesn't have to be like, I'm going to go off Niagara falls riding in a wooden barrel. It doesn't have to be something crazy like that. It can be little small things. This is, uh, my gratitude has a lot of gratitude in it, but it also has, uh, my bucket list as well. And I keep adding to it. And so the idea is, is that I'm focusing on the experiences that I want to enjoy in my life. The things I want to learn, the people I want to meet, the places I want to go. I'm focusing on raising my vibration. And that of course creates magnetism but it also creates a, a viaduct, if you will, a channel. It creates a channel for love and happiness and joy and prosperity. A lot of good things, more good things to be grateful about. So high flyers next, if you are not walking, if you are not running, if you are not exercising, you're not moving your body. And the more you move your body, the less time you have for being obsessed, especially if you've got some headphones on and you're listening to a podcast or an audio book. When I get on a treadmill at the gym, I've got a podcast on. I'm learning while I am running, but I'm not focusing on something that I, I might've been obsessed about. My mind is a long ways away from that. Or sometimes I just put on some beautiful, uh, music like 528 Hertz or 629. And I just allow my mind to drift off into the future. It's a wonderful place to go because you can create anything you want and you don't have to be obsessed doing it. Well, high flyers, I am a firm believer that the first 10 minutes from the time you open your eyes in the morning until the time you, you get out of bed for 10 minutes, set your alarm meditation, but it's not focusing on an obsession. It's a matter of fact, focusing on the opposite of obsession. Obsession says I don't have, 
I want, I need. You're focusing on having, you're focusing on being, you're focusing on enjoying and experiencing the life that you desire. 10 minutes every day, the first 10 minutes, because that's when your, your mind is at a very high vibrational state already. And you can stay there all day. You can enjoy that high vibrational state all day long. Well, along with that first 10 minutes of meditation, a morning routine, whether it's exercise or yoga or meditating, uh, or your gratitude journal, but have something that gets you started and focused for the entire day on all the important things that your life is about. Every day is important. Every day is a game changer in your life. And so that first 10 minutes plus a morning routine, it says, this is my day. This is where I'm going. This is where I'm taking it. It's not about want. It's not about need. It's about becoming. We don't attract what we want. We attract what we are. And then I just love this because look, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I can be a little obsessive myself. This is my affirmation. As I let go, good things flow. Why don't you try that affirmation? As you see, we want to, we want to believe that the tighter we grip something, if we can just grip it it's harder, it'll be ours. It's the opposite. It's the opposite. As I let go, good things flow. Remember every day, high flyers focus on your own dreams and goals and desires as they relate to your lifelong journey. Let me also say this, and this is very important. And this kind of is a little bit metaphysical, but I think you'll get it. So you want this other person to think about you more to miss you more. How can they miss you? If you're always in their head, if you're thinking about them all the time and you're fretting and worrying and, and obsessing over them, you're sending out some low vibrational energy and it's entering their sphere of sensation or energy field. It's becoming part of their subconscious mind. You're like, you're always in their head. There's no room for them to miss you. But if you pull back and you start focusing on you and you start letting go and letting good energy flow in your life, then all of a sudden there's room for them to miss you. Think of it that way. So high flyers, if you seriously desire them, focus on you, have clear intentions, in other areas of your life and focus on those intentions, reshift your habits and let go of obsession. As I let go, good things flow. Here's some other videos to help you on your journey.